What's up everyone, RJ here with Hacking University and in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can use Ghost 11.5 to create backup of your partition. Now you might uh, face some shaky uh, video footage as uh, it's uh, not actually in the windows, I've just booted up the CD and I'm uh, creating it using my phone. So bear this thing up. Now basically uh, what's Ghost? Ghost is like uh, it will create a partition backup. It's a kind of restore point. But the best thing about it is uh, suppose uh, your windows get corrupted, right? And uh, you have already created this backup. So what you can do, you can just uh, restore uh, your windows using this backup. And the best part is that at the stage you just created a backup, your computer will come on right on that stage another good thing is that uh, like if you're uh, mm -hmm. just doing a, you can say a very fresh windows star so just uh, restore it using that backup and all your softwares with the keys and uh, serials installed everything will be right there all the settings will be saved in this and uh, it's very very good <clears throat> Now, uh, I just uh, wanted to create a backup of my drive, so I thought uh, it would be nice if I can uh, capture the whole tutorial on how it's done, so that uh, you all guys can, uh, you know, actually create your own backup. So basically, uh, this is what the, the whole screen actually looks like, right? Uh, so I have just put it up the CD, so it's like a very small software. I've just given a link, you can download it. Right after that, it's an ISO file. You can burn it, burn it onto a simple CD. Right. So after you boot it up, right, you will see some screens like this. So here are the whole stuff, which you have to check out. Right. So now what do you need to do? You need to go into local. Then here it's partition. On the partition, you have to click onto image. This is what you will see. So you have to choose your C or D drive. So basically, this is the local one, the whole drive. So you click on OK. And then you will see all your partitions. This is the primary one is system reserved. It's just like 100 MB. We do not have to use that. So this is right over here. This is my C and this is my D. So it's uh, 39 GB size in MB. So it's like 39,000 MB. It's 39 GB and this is 74 uh, GB. I'm having very small uh, space as I'm using SSD. I'm not using HDD. I have just posted that up earlier about the uh, you know differentiation between SSD and HDD. And uh, I will say SSD is pretty good. You know the speeds are five times faster. <clears throat> so then I just have to choose. Uh, my C drive over here, which is the central one. Oh my God, I just chose so many ones. Wait, my C. Let's deselect all of them. Now, let's choose the C drive over here, boom, and then press OK. Now it asks where I have to copy the image to. So, drop down. This is the. Uh, this is my actually the uh, this is system reserved this is my D drive and this is my the Jans and TFS it's my uh, portable 1 TB hardest so not in this but obviously in my D drive I will shift it afterwards so this is my D drive I will just choose uh, save my ghost over here so I will name it obviously with a name like uh, ghost possibly the best one right and uh, we do not have to uh, give any uh, extension or so just type the name and hit on save now this option pops up it asks like compress image file now it has uh, three options like no fast and high now let me just tell you if you go with the high one it's going to take a lot of time to create the image but the best part is the file is going to be very small. Now, on the same hand, when you're going to restore, it's going to take a lot of time to decompress the files and, you know, to restore your backup. 
and uh, if you're going to go with no one your file size is going to be very big but speeds are going to be fast so best thing is go with the medium which is the fast one click on fast and it says proceed with partition image creation hit yes and boom it has just started so it's going to take quite a lot of time I won't say a lot but uh, I think so approximately 15 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your C drive like uh, I'm having uh, uh, I think so 5 GB was uh, remaining so possibly 30 GB was occupied so it's gonna compress 30 GB into a small data so it depends on your size so if you're having I guess uh, 150 to 200 gigabytes of drive and it's full it's gonna take a lot of time so depending on that it's gonna take some time <clears throat> now as you can see it has just started over here the files are going to be copied like this right so it's gonna take quite a good time and when it's done it will say uh your image is created so restart the system you will restart and you will get the image file so it's quite easy so i think so it's a pretty good software and i like this backup utility so I recommend that if you're a frequent uh, user, a Windows user, and you have installed so many softwares, and you think that sometime, uh, or it's your past bad experiences that you think that uh, your Windows always get corrupted, like after one to two months, then this is the best option. You just create the backup, and as soon as you face something, restore to that point, and it's done. So hope I just uh, gave you a quite a brief stuff about this thing and uh, hope you'll just uh, love using this tool. Stay blessed and uh, do visit Hacking University for more awesome hacks, pranks, tricks and how to's. This is Rishabh Jen signing out once again. Bye. Peace.